3. The Electronic Gaming Expo is an event that leaves gamers chewing at the bit. It gives us, as gamers, a look into what we'll be expecting, but in the words of the Highlander, there can only be one. So here I count down the top 5 winners from E3. Number 5. More Xbox Backwards Compatibility. A shed ton of games and a revelation of Project Scorpio being the high-end Xbox One X, Microsoft's biggest announcement came with the blow that will affect the way that gamers such as you and I will play online gaming from this time forward. Microsoft has now had every edition linked of crossplay purposes of Minecraft, and with the intention of Rocket League to become a cross-platform game that allows users on the Xbox One and users on the Nintendo Switch to play together, it shows that they are thinking forward and looking at ways for players to play with their friends no matter what system that they play on. The only holdout for this genius move is that Sony, who had pretty much a very petty excuse as to why they won't allow this to happen, is basically more than ever apparent. They don't want to affect their bottom line. With cross-platform it meant that no one would likely purchase a cross-platform game on one system and one system alone. This could end up hurting Sony and its fans if they don't choose their version of the third party title, in which my opinion is rather prophetic. Number 4. Monster Hunter becomes non-Nintendo exclusive. Final Fantasy games out of the Wazoo and the ever elusive Kingdom Hearts 3, Square Enix was a quiet storm that gave fans something unique, new and rather innovative, still making their Final Fantasy money off of that cowl of course, but still managed to release various versions of Monster Hunter on every single platform, including a rehash on Nintendo Switch. Number 3. An Evil Within trailer. This was so mind-bendingly ingenious that it would make Hideo Kojima blush. Amongst the VR re-releases that would make most owners of the expensive tech moist, Bethesda slid this gem in under an expected release schedule, giving the fans something more than what was otherwise expected, with a haunting cover of Duran Duran's Ordinary World, making all of us watching feel a sense of uneasement. Number 2. Sony giving fans what they want. Sony gave fans a new God of War whilst providing an update to a game that was a critical success. One that is studied in numerous amount of content creators such as myself, the game known as Shadow of Colossus. The biggest reveal also came from the awesome Spider-Man trailer with Insomniac Games that merges the mechanics of older Spider-Man games and blends the mechanics of the Arkham games as well as the infamous games themselves made by Insomniac Games. This gives gamers something rather compelling and the best part of this reveal is that both Peter and Miles Morales may be involved in the game game's overall story. Number 1. Nintendo gives us what we want. New Metroid? Check. Another new Metroid? Check. A Pokemon game on the Switch? Check. Since the Switch's release, fans have been clamouring for more titles in the handheld home console hybrid who are Nintendo's very own big cash cow. Nintendo don't even deny us what we want and gave us announcements of new Kirby games, Yoshi games and some deluxe versions of Wii U variants similar to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe which makes me and every other Nintendo fan happy with glee. Of course with the announcement of the new Pokemon RPG on the Switch as well, Nintendo has given fans everything that they have desired and hopefully will make us forget about the past failings and the fact that the company is re-releasing two Pokemon games in the 3DS that have already been released on the system around about a year ago. Yeah, they did that. So, do you agree or disagree? Make sure that you lovelies leave a comment below and as always, like, comment, subscribe and share. And this has been Michael Burhan that's saying to you, you lovely people, that I've got gameplay. Have you?